welcome friends welcome to my channel so today i am attempting to recreate this queen charlotte hairstyle that i fell in love with while watching queen charlotte so come join me all right so we're starting off with braiding extensions i'm going to be cutting a portion of this color in order for me to create springy curls that i would use for the half the base the half a kinky base so i'll be wrapping it around the straw and then i'll be dipping it in hot water so this is how i wrapped it around the straw i've seen a lot of videos where people do this so i'm sure it's something you're probably familiar with but if you're not just let me know and i'll create a video about it so i did not really do any job because i knew i was going to like unravel it later so then i unraveled it and i put it together in a basket and that would make it easy for me to just pick it up and crochet it into the wig cap so i'm using this mesh wig cap i wish we had like a nude tone because i couldn't use lace frontal i don't have a ventilating hook so i only use my smallest crochet pin so because i don't have a ventilating hook i tried using this in uh, frontal and it wasn't working so i decided to just use the mesh cap and i'm just going to crochet it into the mesh cap around the perimeter just around the perimeter but a little more in front than i would include it in other parts of the hair all right so when i'm done with it you would notice that i have a little more hair a lot more hair in front than i have on the other side i even did the underside of the front just so it will have a fuller look then i can pull out some pieces of it and use that for edges I did notice that there were some places that needed to be filled in so i just took some more curls and filled those spaces out so it will look fuller After I was done with that, I got to making the bow. So this is what the bow would look like. I used two colors of extension. So this is the second color of the extension. And I just wrap the extension around my four fingers. I wrap them around it and then I take it out and just use a thread to hold it in the middle. So that's how I create my bone. Really easy. I'm going to do it again so you can see it so please just watch
the next thing to do was to have a base so i'm using this pringles container that i spray painted black because i didn't want red to be showing and then i'm going to cover it up with this um bun with this donut but i noticed that this pringles container was a little too thin so i needed to pad it up so what i did is i used most of the extension that was left and i just aligned it on the side of the container so that it covers the entire container and gives it a little extra padding so when i'm done this is what it looks like and then i'm going to sew it in what i did was sew it into the wig cap not the hair into the wig cap so it is firm and sturdy After I'm done with that, I'm going to be brushing out some air and wrapping it around a rug. You know the way a lot of people create their own DIY French curls? Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to create two royal curls because that that's what I call it. The royal curls that fall on the neck of the royals in, <laughs> in the Queen Charlotte video. I don't know if you noticed but... I love those curls like they just fall on the neck and it's really cute so this hairstyle has two of them and I'm going to be making two of these curls after wrapping it around this um, rod I'm going to be dipping it in hot water so that it can set and then I'll unravel it and this is what it looks like after I took it out to be doing what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be pinning it to the back of the wig yeah just so it stays in place before i add in the bows i'm just going to pin it in i try to pin it into the hair firmly but don't worry it's not going to come off i'm going to glue it in later but i'm pinning it in first so as soon as I'm done with that, I'm just going to start gluing in my bows, which is so exciting because that's like the finishing touch, the start of the finishing touch since I've done the base. I'm using these two colors because I noticed that the original Queen Charlotte Hester had like two shades of gray. I couldn't find two shades of gray, so I just used silver and this gray.
now i'm just filling in the holes you know so there's no space i'm just trying to cover everywhere as much as possible i'm using a hot glue gun for this too and i try to glue it in several places so that it stays in place and does not fall off I don't know what I'm going to use this thing for like I don't know what I'm going to use this week for at all if I'm going to like give it to a model and style her I do not know I honestly do not know I just needed to create this thing and I love it so much at this point I was getting super excited because I could see it come out like really really nice and this is the last go <laughs> i had a celebratory moment you know i was really celebrating it because these are taking me hours hours like <laughs> i've been at this all day i mean guys look at this <laughs> look at this it looks so beautiful i hope you think it's beautiful too because i am so in love with this wig so so in love with it i want to create another one i don't know what which one i'm going to do next but if you have an idea like a season uh, i mean an episode or a season of queen charlotte hester because i think she has the most iconic hairstyles in bridgerton if you have another one just let me know yeah i'm just trying to create like um an edges you know since i'm not using a frontal i'm just trying to make it look nice in front so what i'm doing is i'm laying it down so that i can cut out the shape and then i'm going to lay it down again And there we have it. I transferred the wig to my beautiful mannequin head and it looked so gorgeous on her. Something is missing though, can you guess? Yes, it's a tiara. She's a queen after all. So this is how it looks. I really love it. What look should I create next? Just let me know what episode or what season in the comments. And if you like it, don't forget to like don't also forget to subscribe i really really enjoy getting your subscriber see you in my next video bye